Alright, I just wanted to show one of my latest projects with uh, building a micro, uh, micro quad. Um, one of the reasons I decided to do this is because, <clears throat> you know, I live in northwest Ohio and it's getting pretty cold out right now, so also windy. We get a lot of pretty harsh weather. So this, this is a 3D printed frame and it's about, I believe, 120 millimeters. Um, I've got the Hubson props on it, <clears throat> and I'm using a, this is called a beef brush board, and on top of that is a micro FRX um, radio controller that's compatible with the Free Sky Tyrannus, which is uh, my radio of choice. So on here you can see um, when you order the board, it comes with these, uh, these pins that you can solder on. I wanted to do that just because I you know, Murphy's Law, I typically get the motors on backwards, which I did in this build, and <clears throat> just makes it kind of nice to be able to swap the motors pretty easily. Um, you could probably shave off maybe a, a gram or two if you if you uh, just solder directly. Um, now that I've got everything together, I'll probably clean it up a little bit. As you can see, some of these wires are also a little bit long, so I'll probably shorten those and solder them directly. Um, I went ahead and put these spacers. I had some leftover nylon spacers. That gives me a little bit more room if I need it. My goal, I'm eventually going to put one of these cameras on it. So I've got down here, I have the CM205 camera for FPV. And unfortunately, you know, this the nice thing about this camera is it's really small and lightweight. Um, and the downside is, is that it comes with a barrel and the barrel has a voltage regulator in it. Well, I was experimenting with uh, taking the barrel apart so I could kind of use it all, but I unfortunately broke off the soldering pads and toasted it because there's a lot of glue on that barrel connector. So now I'm waiting for a, basically a step down because this thing's real sensitive. It only wants 3.3 volts. Anything over, the, over that, you're gonna probably fry the camera, or at least I've heard apart now this one this is a nice camera here this is the spectrum um, SP MVA 1100 so this has got probably a very also very low weight I forget the exact uh, weight I'll have to wait here in a second but <clears throat> this camera's got the antenna right on it um, the only problem with it right now is that it's got this nano sized JST connector and as you can see over here I've got the I think it's a low C connector. So, <clears throat> and I, I need to make a Y cable, so I'm also waiting on um, a few more uh, connector parts so I can wire all that up without having to, to hack away at things too much. All right, the other thing, I, I started out with this Phoenix Flight Gear frame. This is the 110 uh, millimeter frame. It's it's not a bad frame, but as you can see, this, this board here, <clears throat> um, it's just not going to fit real well. Uh, it's a little bit wider than the than the actual frame here. And this frame, there's only like a four gram difference maybe. So I figure I'll I'll give this 3D printed one a shot for a little bit and see how it does. And then I might switch over to this eventually because this is a nice carbon fiber. But again, it's just not quite wide enough for what I want to use it. Uh, one other thing about the board before I forget, this board uh, is nays. Uh, 32 compatible. Anything you flash your knees with you can flash on this board and that includes the firmware as well as uh, the um, clean flight, base flight, or I'm going to try beta flight on it. So that's probably going to be my next, uh, right now it's got base flight, it came with that, but it, I want to try, I heard there's some pretty cool features. You can see I've got a variety of different 1S. These are all batteries that I use with my Hubson. They're 500 milliamp batteries. I got them I don't know, somewhere on Amazon or eBay or something, but they're 25C. These, uh, I read on, I read Oscar's, Oscar Liang's blog, and he recommended these. So these are 750 milliamp, and they also have a little bit more punch, 35 to 70C. So, yeah, 43, 44 with the screw. So that's not too bad. If you weigh the Hubson, again, this is without the battery. Hubson's about 42, so a couple grams lighter which you know really we're using the exact same motors as, as what's in the hubson so and the same props 
And then the battery is another, if I go with the bigger one, it's 19. If I go with the smaller one, it's a little, oh wow, so eight grams. Oh yeah, the camera. So this camera looks like it's five grams. And then this camera is, <laughs> it's not even registering. So that's pretty light. Let me get in the scale, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's probably around three grams, but all the ESCs are built in, so. It's a pretty nice feature. Um, the other thing is, is you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got some double-sided sticky foam that helps isolate the vibrations from the frame. Um, but this has got some, I'll flip it upside down, you can kinda see the foam underneath. So that really helps. I don't, I don't have any problems. The other thing I do, um, I'd recommend, if you can see I've got some tape here, you might wanna heat shrink or or tape this my micro FRX radio right here um, receiver it's been losing its binding and I think it's because <clears throat> originally I didn't have any tape or insulation on that so I think it's possible that it could have shorted out on something here either that or I've got a defective one okay I've got my trans powered up and um, got it set to the micro and then I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in <laughs> It flies pretty well. It's not real. It's, it's, it's not real punchy, but it works pretty well. I think um, when I compare it to my Hubson, it's pretty similar. But I've got this just set on the default. I think it's um, Horizon mode. But yeah, it's uh, it works pretty well. All right. Thanks for watching.